finally made it. I can't believe it. Staring at your threats because it's see through. Talking out of shit that you ain't been through. Say that you a lesbian, girl, me too. Hey, girls want girls where I'm from, hey. Yo, I hit the jewel, I got some goals I sold a little weed, but I could never sell my soul When I'm in LA, you find me all in little coat Come up, go with my ramen, I'ma need another bowl, let's go Oh boy, oh boy. Guess what time it is, boys. It's reading more people bitching and complaining comments time. You know, actually, fun fact, my mom asked me what I think of all the criticism that's levied my way. Because old people see some slightly critical comments and think that it's harassment. And then go on to write out-of-touch Facebook memes about how social media is dangerous. Because those old Gen Xers, they love their comfort. They love watching mainstream news and never questioning it. They just love being sheep, you know? But in response to this, I I said, I love it. I love the criticism I get. Because not only is some of it valid and actually good and it helps me make better videos, as well as sparking very good conversation, which I think is required. Because doing reviews requires conversation, you know? But furthermore, if the criticism is bad, then I can make these videos and make a bit more money off of them. Honestly, it's a win-win for me. This story has nothing to do with the actual video. I just thought it was kind of funny. But let's hella get into this, Shaka bra. So this video is going to be split into two areas. But first, off comments from the original video and then comments from the new before the storm video it's gonna be a real beefy one a hella beefy one if you will so let's just get into yes, it our first comment reads, It's just unfortunate people like you think that if a game doesn't have insane non-stop action, it sucks. Face palm emoji. I'm not sure where uh, this one's coming from. I really don't think games need non-stop action to be good. I will admit, yeah, I am more conventionally attracted to games with action and movement in them. But I don't think that makes a game better or good or anything. I love the Silent Hill games and those are slow paced games. I've been playing Death Stranding recently and I've been thoroughly enjoying it even though that game is infamous for its lack of action. And by contrast, yeah, there are plenty of games with action that I think suck dick. Just a quick example, any one of those modern day Assassin's Creed games, I think those suck fucking dick. Oh wait, hold on. Um, actually, case closed. At the end of my Life is Strange video, I recommended Night in the Woods. A game with zero action in it. There we go. Um, argument nullified. Wait a minute, did this person not watch the video? Wow, color me shocked. Wow, bro. Maybe next time make sure your arguments uh, make sense before you throw them at me. Anyways, next comment. About six years late, bestie. Am I not allowed to review a game six years after it came out? Is that, like, not allowed or something? You know, some call me Johnny reviewed the original Donkey Kong game. Just recently, in fact. And the original Donkey Kong game came out in 1981. So he's actually 40 years late to that party. Sorry, Johnny, but your opinion is invalidated. It's simply because you reviewed a game from 40 years ago. What kind what fucking logic is this? Let's move on before I get a fucking aneurysm. Chloe Price is not a bad character. She loved and cared about Max Caulfield with all of her heart. But people hate Chloe for no reason. I'm convinced that people that hate her also hate William Price and act like she deserved to lose her father. Ignoring the part in my video where I listed off all the reasons I hate Chloe Price. Ignoring all the dog killing and money stealing shit. Ignoring the time Chloe got mad at Max for calling a suicidal friend. And ignoring the actual lack of character development. No, Chloe did not care about Max. She used Max as a tool throughout the game. Chloe only cares for herself and really only cares for Max when she's a glorified yes man for Chloe. And the game acts like this is a good thing. So yeah, Chloe is a bad character. Also, it's really funny this person mentions the whole William Price thing when first of all, it has no relevance or basis in anything whatsoever. But it's even funnier because the game itself would actually disagree with this person. Person. Because there's an entire part of the game that says that Chloe kind of needs to lose her dad or else she'll become a paraplegic So the game is saying Chloe deserves to lose her dad Is it not and then I turned around and argued against this is saying that even though Chloe's legs don't function anymore She shouldn't lose her dad because she's not as much of a fucking bitch So this person is arguing that people that hate Chloe price presumably including me want Chloe's dad to die Meanwhile though the game is arguing why
why Chloe's dad needs to die. And then meanwhile, meanwhile, I disagreed with this and said Chloe deserves to be a paraplegic with a living dad. This person's argument is so bad, it fell apart in the most 40 chess of ways. I have to admit, this is incredibly impressive. The next comment before I have five aneurysms. All at the same time. This game is serious is not mid. You're a mid YouTube channel. P.S. I'm not that mad despite my old caps, but seriously, I love all these games. Well, I'm glad that was cleared up. Even though, you know, you hurt my fucking feelings calling me a mid YouTuber in all caps. That's cringe. You're cringe. You know, all jokes aside though, in spite of what I may say in these videos, enjoy what you want. I really don't give a shit. If you don't like my Life is Strange videos, you can just turn off the computer, turn on the Xbox, and just have fun, you know? I would never take that away from anyone. Except for pedophiles, they don't deserve any of that shit. My G, you can't convince people to agree with you by yell, talking at lightning speed, and adding memes. Um, I actually have ADHD. So the, um, talking fast thing, I can't control it. Try as I might, I really can't. So I actually kind of take offense to this, honestly. And obviously I doubt he knew, so I'm not gonna hold it against him. But like, come on, man. If you want to make a point, you must state it. Prove it, and state how to improve it. Otherwise, all you are doing is ranting like a child. Um, I did do that. I made points. I explained my points. I explained how the story could be improved. I just also added a bunch of memes because I thought it would be funny. That's just my style, man. Take some notes from the channel The Closer Look. You could learn a thing or two. I came here fully ready to hear a different opinion, but now I no longer care what you have to say. How disappointing. Wow, condescending much? I didn't think adding memes to my my video to make it funny could make people this mad. So your advice for me to improve my channel is to be yet another video essay channel. Which look, the closer look makes fine videos and all, but I don't really want to be another video essay channel. I want to be Dumbsville, and here on Dumbsville, we make Dumbsville videos. And if you don't like that and want to watch the closer look, well, go watch the closer look. I feel like there are a lot of video essay channels that all feel the same, and I clearly don't want to go in that direction. And there's nothing wrong with that at all. I want to make some good observations while also making funny videos. And once again, I want them to stand out. It's very similar to what T-Pain said about rappers, but for YouTube videos. Do some different music! We have all the shit that you're doing. We already have it. Lil Uzi Vert is already doing it. Lil Baby is already doing it. The Baby is already doing it. It's literally two n with Baby in their names that's already doing all the music you want. Do something else! Do something else! Um, in other words, and less aggression, so many people sound and look the same, and I clearly don't want to do that. I want to simply put, do something else. And that's fully okay. No need to get up in arms or get me to fit a certain mold or whatever. Just let me post some fucking dumbass memes. <laughs> So now it's time for all the new comments. Man, all these before the storm kids ain't ready, bro. Shut up, you a dumb kid. This is a good game. Wow, we sure are starting off strong. No arguments, no nothing. I can't even really say anything. Which I guess makes this an actually pretty good argument. Since I can't really, you know, comment on anything. You can't disprove someone if they don't even try to make a point. I guess this guy won. Congrats. If you thought this game was bad, wait till you see the editing on this video. Holy shit. Oh, great. More people insulting my editing style. God forbid bit I make a video funny, or at least whatever I consider that to be. And you know what? I'm not saying you have to like my videos or anything. My videos aren't for everyone, and that's okay. But let me have some fun on this platform, man. What in the world is this editing? Just talk and stop with all the flashes. Almost had multiple seizures. Wow, people must really hate my editing. Time for me to take a cue from the closer look. In all seriousness, though, you can just, you know, watch another video. You know that, right? I make videos the way I want them to, and if you don't like that, well, I'm sorry. But I'm not changing for anyone. Fuck 12 or whatever. Seven years late. Am I just not allowed to review something years after it came out? Is there some new unwritten rule or something? This is a dangerously common mentality. I like these games. Sorry. Um, you're forgiven, I guess? Once again, if you like the Life is Strange games, that's perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong with that. These games mean a lot to people, and you're free to enjoy them. I just don't think they're very good. There's nothing more to say about that, I guess. This game is amazing. You're a hater, and if you hated, why make a whole video on it? Um, because I want better games to exist? Because I want to explore why I don't like it? Because I want to create conversation? Because I think you would make for an interesting video? Because I want to make some money? I can think of a few pretty good 
reasons. There's certainly better reasons than you're a hater. Like, come on, you can do better than that. Did this person, like, not have a better argument set up? This is the most 2005-ass argument I've ever seen. It really baffles me that people can say shit like this and just not instantly regret it. If you hated, why'd you make a video on it? Have you never been on YouTube before? Half this fucking platform is just making videos on things people hate. You know, if my kid is caught making comments like this, I don't think I'd let him use the internet ever again. He clearly isn't ready to handle it or anything. Life is strange before the storm is amazing. Chloe and Rachel was cute. Yeah, it's real cute until Rachel starts manipulating Chloe. Yeah, it's real cute until Rachel cheats on Chloe. Yeah, it's real cute until Rachel starts being mentally unstable throughout the game. Nothing says a power couple goals like emotional abuse. This is ironically the exact problem with Life is Strange that this person is inadvertently highlighting. It's glorifying shitty relationships and horrible people. So people like this don't think too hard about it and think that it's cute. Well, let me tell you, abuse is not adorable or cute, especially when it's constantly being blindsided by references and nostalgia bait to a previous game. No, it's not cute or amazing. It's a fucking mess. Chloe and Rachel are not bad characters. They love and care about people. They're clearly misunderstood by their haters. I'm convinced that the people that hate Chloe hated William Price and acted like she deserved to lose her father. We literally just covered this comment like seven minutes ago. Are Life is Strange fans just regurgitating arguments? Did they not have anything better to say at all? This person also needed two whole comments to write this, which I don't know why because the comment is fucking stupid, but damn, go off, sis. Anyways, I already argued why this comment doesn't work at all, but I also want to add, in response to my entire list of reasons I don't like Chloe Price, this person's best argument is she cares about people, which is not only, you know, incorrect, but it's also incredibly vague. Christ almighty, life is strange, fans. Get some intelligence. This video is hilariously flawed. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, buddy? You mind elaborating at all? Why is my video hilariously flawed? I would like to know. For someone who thinks my video is hilariously flawed, you sure don't have a whole lot of reasons. Why do people, like, write comments like this? You would think people would be too scared of public humiliation, but apparently not. I hope you're joking when you made this vid, laughing while crying emoji. So obviously without doxing anyone, and obviously don't harass people, but this is the, um, same guy who wrote that, uh, non-stop action comment from the original video. So it's nice to know that he still has zero points. Uh, seriously, the fuck do you mean I hope you were joking when you made this video? Do you have, like, any other points except for endlessly coping and seething? Is this the extent of your intelligence? Because, dear God, I really hope not. So, uh, those are all the comments I could find. Yeah, not even joking. Uh, that's it. I really did want the video to be a lot longer than this, but Life is Strange fans just don't have any convincing arguments. They're just regurgitating the same arguments from the original video, which sucks because I want my videos to be better. But I can't make better videos when this is the shit I'm dealing with. Oh, well, can't win them all. So that was uh, the entire video. Man, I wish I could make like an actual point or something. Oh, well, uh, that's the whole video. Have a good night, everyone. Uh, fuck off. <laughs>
you have at me. Ow! I told you I'm not reading the Bible! Repent your sin! Go back to church, loser! 